<laughs> I'm here. I was clapping so that we know when to start the sound. There we go. It's me, Mr. Tazzy. Hello, Facebook friends. Hello. Hello, Facebook friends. Hello. I'm feeling real silly, so let's start the show. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, Kareen. Good to see you. <laughs> I hope you're all well in North Battleford. We'll wait for a few people to pop in, and then we'll do some reading. We'll do some reading, and then we'll discuss whether or not I should read in the mornings or only at, uh, maybe I'll only read um, in the evenings, I'm not sure, uh, depending on what uh, people are doing for school. April and Tyrese are there. Tyrese, Tyrese, Tyrese. I read that Fox and Socks book and then I tried to read it again and I just got all mixed up so I had a nap. That's what I do. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So we'll discuss whether or not it's a good idea for me to keep reading uh, in the mornings and in the evenings or just in the evenings or if there are people that uh, want me to keep reading in the morning, I will do that. Glenn Ottaway, he is an agrum, a great, I was going to say, a great m magician, but he's also just a great entertainer. Glenn Ottaway is here. Bada -bo -bo. Ashley, good morning from Cheyenne and Brooklyn. Yes, Miss Christie is here. Say hi, Miss Christie. Ah, right there. I just move a little bit. It's 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 sort of a normal reflex, like like that. Ah, 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 ah. I'm okay. I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, whoop, bonk. Oh, and look at my goatee. Or, or my, I guess it's my beard now. I, this is my, I grew this. I just started growing this the other day. I grew it myself. It's pretty good. It looks like I'm in a windstorm. Yeah, does it look a little goofy? No, it looks, looks okay. Fine. Good morning from Ella and Starla and Sophia and Caspian and Aluen. Aluen, oh my goodness. I'm so bad with names. Justin is there because I know him. I've met him many times. Jason, well, good morning, Jackson and Jason and uh, Jackson, Jason and Janet. Wow, look at that. Three J names. Jackson, look what I'm reading today. You lent me this book, How to Dress Your Dragon. How to Dress Your Dragon. It's a book, a book with underwear on the front and dragon in the middle. Oh, middle if I put my hand there. It's a middle. Uh, and <clears throat> my friend Liz Lowen, who is one of my favorite librarian people in the entire world, um, she has lent me this book called, Mo Willems wrote, It's not, that's not a good idea. That is not a good idea. So we'll read that, and we'll read How to Dress Your Dragon. And then we can discuss, um, let me know, Hey, Declan and Baba. Hello, Declan. Good to see you. Vivian. Vivian. I see you again, Miss Vivian. That's awesome that you're here. Okay, we can start because Vivian is here and away we go. I am going to read How to Dress Your Dragon. First, first, first. It's a simple book. It's a super silly story about a boy and his pet dragon. There you go. And it's by Thelma Lynn Gordon. And <clears throat> the pictures are by Eric Barclay. There you go. I had an Auntie Thelma. And this book, this book has got underwear everywhere. Underwear. Rosie, there's underwear. Underwear everywhere. It's like my bedroom. Underwear everywhere. Yeah. See, I do my... I do and the living room. And the li not, even, not the living room. The kitchen, maybe. Oh, gross. Not the kitchen. It's clean underwear. So here's what happens. I will often do my laundry, and laundry gets done uh, once a week, and then um, Miss Christie says, but uh, delivery to where it belongs may be five, <laughs> five to eight weeks, uh, depending. Sometimes I just wash them and wear them. This is by Scholastic. Scholastic, thank you very much, uh, Scholastic Company, for letting me read this book to you, and it's called How to Dress Your Dragon. Doo -doo -doo. If you have to dress a dragon... You must be prepared to catch him as he flies by. He went backwards. You need some strong arms. Definitely. <laughs> you may have to tickle tackle him to the floor and give him belly kisses. See, this is what happens. If you get a dragon, you just 
tickle tackle them to the ground, give them belly kisses all over. Zerbert his tummy. Don't sherbert the tummy. That's a completely different thing. That <laughs> Dan's a dang laundry reminder. <laughs> Do you want me to wait while you go to switch the loads, buddy? Once your dragon is still, it'll be time to put on his underwear. Put on his underwear, 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 putting on his underwear. Look how big those underwear are. Those are just giant, giant undies. That's it. It's either dragon underwear or a car cover that you can still get in either door. <laughs> these are cool underwear. <laughs> yeah. I want those. The, the cool thing, <laughs> Miss Christy says she wants some of these underwears. Oh, me too. Look at these. The cool thing is, dragons love underwear. Oh, ho. -ho. There's underwear. Look at that. Oh, you got me tartan underwear. Look at that. <laughs> Especially froggy superhero ones. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. If I was a froggy superhero, I'd walk up and I'd go, I told you not to do that. <laughs> I, t I told you. <laughs> Written. Okay. Do you know what? I asked a frog one time how... Uh, how deep the water was there, and he went, knee deep, knee deep, knee deep. All right, dad jokes. Dad jokes. Silly dragon. Ha ha ha. Sari, good to see you. Serenity is here, too. You might have to sit saddle your dragon. To put on his socks. Because dragons have very ticklish toes. <laughs> Silly dragon. He's got socks all over his horns. He's got, he's, got, he's got the socks on his horns. To keep him warm. Dragons do not like shirt with buttons. They do not at all like shirt with buttons. Oh, see, the buttons are coming off. One time when I was on stage, and there was a somebody very smart said, "Oh, don't wash your vest. Uh, it needs to be dry clean only." I'm like, "Whatever, dry clean only, whatever." And so I washed it, and uh, hundred percent, Spencer, hundred percent. Um, I shrunk the um, vest, but I, of course I didn't know, and I did a show, and it was on so tight, <laughs> and I bent over to say something, and the one button went, <coughs> and it went into the crowd, just like, bloop, and it landed in somebody's drink, their, their red Solo cup, it landed right in their drink, and the, the lady didn't even flinch an eye, she goes, what do I win? <laughs> it was awesome. Marin is watching. Dragons do not like shirts that pull over their head. Chloe and Brooklyn, dragons do not like shirts that they pull over their head, nor do they like shirts with buttons. We're learning how to dress a dragon. Dragons do not like shirts. <laughs> hmm. But they do like capes. Me too. Yeah, I like capes too. Because if you make them really thin and then you put um, some chocolate sauce and some whipping cream inside and some cut up bananas, they're my favorite. Those are those are my that's favorite not capes. A cape. That's a cape, yes. No, no, that's a crepe. Oh. Then what have I been wearing around my neck? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Marin says they've always wanted a pet dragon. Can we have a puppy? No. Please? No. What if I asked for a dragon and then you said no and then a puppy's better by comparison? No. Can I have a hippopotamus? Still no. She said maybe. Dragons prefer shorts instead of pants. The shorts are much easier to put, with, uh, put on with dragons' big feet. I like my shorts more than I like pants. I don't like pants uh, at all very much. Hmm. Paul Sveen is watching. Paul Sveen and I have been friends for about 30 years. I think he's awesome. 
Please, Dragon, don't scrunch your toes. Because shoes can be tricky. Especially if you got to, you know, don't scrunch your toes. I'm trying to put on some really cool John Fluvog shoes. But if you let your dragon wear his froggy boots, he'll be very happy. Wow, well, his froggy boots. He'll match his froggy underwear. That's right, because when it gets froggy out, it gets really moist on the ground, so you're going to want to wear your froggy boots. Plus, his frog underwear were his superhero frog underwear. <gasps> That's right. He's wearing a cape. Superhero frog underwear and a cape and his froggy boots. Dragons are very picky about hats. <laughs> I love this one. It's like, I don't think I like that one. Oh, I can't see you. Oh. Uh, no. They will only wear ones that fit nicely between their horns. I like hats a lot. I have a lot of hats. I need. I have more hats than I need to. You would wear all of those hats. I would totally wear all of those hats. Even the. Even the. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to the Preakness horse race now. That's what I'm going to do. I would wear this hat. That mattered me. Hats just keep my hair in place. That doesn't make sense. When your dragon is all dressed, he'll want to go outside and play. <laughs> of course he will. All dragons want to go outside and play. <laughs> oh, look what he wants to play. Let's play castle and dragon and knight. Medieval. But beware. If he wants to play his favorite game of dragon and knight, your dragon will insist. Oh, look at that. He's got all uh, clothes off. This is how... This is how I am when I get home. Just like... <laughs> That's exactly how it goes. <laughs> Beware. If he wants to play his favorite game of Dragon and Knight, your dragon will insist on being a silly knight. <laughs> I thought he would want to be the dragon. Because he's already dressed up like a dragon. I like this book. I like this book. Oh. I think this is my favorite picture in the whole book right there. Can you see? They're hanging out on the roof with a cat. And the little dude is dressed like a dragon, saying, I love you, dragon. And the mom's like, hello? There's 911. There's a dragon on my roof. Uh, lady, this is a crank call, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> That's it. There we go. Good morning, Brenda. Whoa, whoa, what up? What up? What up? What up? So, uh, for those of you that weren't here earlier, we're reading a couple of books, and uh, we're sort of going to decide whether or not I'm going to read every morning at um, at 10.30, or if uh, the kids are going to be in their virtual school, because Wee Beast uh, is, uh, my son Wee Beast is going to be in uh, virtual school at 10.30 tomorrow, so there'll be no reading tomorrow, I don't think. Uh, I might start a little bit late once we get um, Mr. Uh, Mr. Beast uh, set up for the school. So why don't we uh, send me some uh, your thoughts on that by private message and, and then I'll put it out there as well. Um, because I'd like to keep reading uh, because there are all ages kids. Oh, and I just poked my eye again. I don't know. You know what? You'd think I would have this down, but I don't know if I think I'm further to the left, but I just poked myself in my eye. Oh... Love you too, Paul Sveen. Lots of love. And April, my friend April is there. April. She is awesome. Hey, uh, April, I need to borrow um, a pirate costume. Do you got any pirate costumes? Don't tell anybody else, but I think I got a good pirate book to read. So I want to borrow a pirate costume. Do you have anything that will fit me? I'm a big, like, large, double extra, maybe triple extra large pirate. Yeah. Rawr. Mo Willems, that is not a good idea. <laughs> I just glanced at this and I think it's going to be a fun book. It's done like an old-timey movie thing. That is not a good idea. And this is brought to you by HarperCollins Publishers. Thank you very much, uh, Belzer and Bray, uh, an imprint of HarperCollins uh, Publishers. Thank you so much for letting me read your book. <laughs> Jeff, too. I have all the costumes. Well, let me know which costumes you have because I want to. Uh, I'm, ru I'm running out of costumes and I don't want to. Um, well, you know. Anyway, uh oh, here we go with the book. There is Mr. Sly Fox. Oh, and Miss Quackers. He has spotted Miss Quackers. There may have made eye contact back and forth. 
Mm-hmm. It looks like they're, it's love at first sight. It's like a la 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 la. Well, he's his love for his tummy for sure. Yeah. What luck. <laughs> looks like dinner. <laughs> That's the fox, by the way. Excuse me. Would you care to go for a stroll? Um, sure. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm saying that. They can read it and then I can go, I'm sure. Excuse me. That is not a good idea. Not a good idea to go with a fox. Would you? Oops, fox, fox voice. <laughs> <laughs> Would you care to continue the walk? I walk into the deep, dark woods. <laughs> Oh, it sounds fun. New voice every page. Ah, uh, that is really not a good idea. Seriously. Not a good idea. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Would you care to visit my nearby kitchen? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I would love to. Hey, seriously, that is really, really not a good idea here. Like, like listen to us. We know good ideas. We are the, the idea brothers. This is me and my brother Spence. And it, I, it's not a good idea. Trust me there. Uh, that's, a, that's a predator and you are prey. That's not a good idea. Don't go in, uh, you know what, uh, kitchens where you cook stuff. I'm just trying to give you a hint here. It is not a good idea. You should listen to him. He's smart. He wears a bow tie. Oh, yeah. See, that's it. This is the Matt DeCero and the John Wing of, of chicks. That's right there. We're going to be smart. I'm wearing a bow tie and everything right into it. Would you, you know, <laughs> would you care to boil some water for mm, soup? <gasps> oh, certainly. I love. Love, love, love soup. Soup, soup. Oh my. Soup. Okay, seriously now. Hey. Hey, duck lady. Listen, it's a really, 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 really not a good idea. Seriously, listen to me. How do you not see where this is going? This is like, have you never read a... A fable or anything in your life? Like, have you not read a book? You've never seen National Geographic? This is not a good idea. Seriously. Oh, man. Seriously. That's not a good idea. You're not listening. <laughs> Would you care to look at my soup? The key ingredient is missing. Okay, 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 that is really, 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 really not a good idea. Not, not a good idea. Not, really, not a good idea. Oh! <laughs> the key ingredient is missing. You! Ha ha ha, curse splash! Didn't see that coming. Well, we tried to warn them. <laughs> They're all lined up with their spoons. 
We're gonna have some fox stew. The end. More soup? This is really good stuff. That's this really nice. So red red fox soup is awesome. I like it with you guys. This is good. We make a good team. <laughs> that's quite a twist. That's a that's a little dark, I guess. For them. there you go. So I uh, I turn from that is uh, don't ever go with a duck when they want to make soup with you. That's what my uh, I'm just saying. Duck soup is not only a Marx Brothers movie. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, I am done reading my two books for today. So I hope you have fun. Uh, tomorrow is back to uh, school. So we'll, uh, I'm going to put a, a little thing out. I've said it two or three times today, but I just want to make sure that we... Um, uh, there will be no reading in the morning tomorrow. I will read tonight, but tomorrow I'm going to help Wee Beast uh, get his computer set up. And by me, I mean Christy is going to help him get the computers. I don't know. The other day, Christy was mad at me. She goes, what's wrong with the computer? I said, I don't know. It wasn't working. I kept putting quarters in this slot here. <laughs> I said, I don't know what's going on. So have a good day today. Get outside if you can into your yard and, and um, you know, uh, get some exercise for your body. Exercise your brain as well. Do do a puzzle or, or uh, do a riddle book or something like that. And then um, it's important. Exercise your brain and exercise your body. Oh, I'm doing this. I got to remember. <laughs> it's a birthday. I almost... I almost forgot Ray Lynn. It's Ray Lynn's birthday today, so we're going to sing happy birthday to Ray Lynn, and then we're going to wrap up this show, as they say in the business. Ready? One, two, three, four. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Ray Lynn. Lynn, Lynn, Lynn. Echo. That's pretty cool. Happy birthday to you. Fancy hat flip. birthday and this is why I'm a professional <laughs> happy birthday Ray Lynn thank you for sending me a message to remind me it was your birthday Lisa Peters, Lisa and Greg are my friends and I love them very much and I miss them very much they're in Saskatoon so we'll wrap this up and uh, remember to try to be the best version of you that you can be. And and you know what? Don't be too hard on yourself if sometimes you, you can't be what people want you to be sometimes perfect. And you can't ever be perfect. So just be you. This is what I need you to do is um, it's okay to get mad. It's okay to be sad. It's actually okay to be upset with the people around you uh, because that's what's going to happen. You, you're, 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 you're confined with people and sometimes we're going to get on each other's nerves. But you always have to be three things. Do you remember what they are? Spencer, A, B, K, right? Always be kind. My buddy Justin knows that too. Always be kind. And don't ever worry about being perfect. Don't worry about perfect because in all that you say and all that you do, you never have to be perfect. You just have to be you. Now, please and thank you, make sure you tell all the people around you how much you love them and appreciate them. And uh, yes, much love, much love, much love. And um, go be you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.